Yogi, come on to your hands and your knees. Spread into your fingers, ground through your palms, drawing energy into the arms and the shoulders back from the ears. Your first movement is into dog tilt. As you lift your tail, hollow the lower back and open the heart. Your second movement is into cat tilt as you scoop the tailbone under, rounding your back to look into the navel. Weave these two postures together on the flow of your breath. As you release the tension from along your spine. From your final dog tilt, use an exhalation to take your buttocks back towards your heels in baby pose resting the chest towards the thighs and forehead towards the floor. Use your inhalation to then extend the back of the body from the tailbone to the fingertips and the exhalation to melt towards the earth. Our next movement is into cobra pose, bringing the body forward onto hands and knees on the inhalation and then releasing the hips towards the earth on the exhalation. Use your feeling intuition and your natural intelligence to skillfully release the tension from along your lower back. Utilizing hip movements to serve this purpose. Gradually bring the energy up the front of the body as you ground your palms, rolling the shoulders back, opening the heart. Our next movement is into downward facing dog tucking the toes under and lifting the hips into the air. Remember to bend your knees in order to get the extension through the spine as you lift into your sitting bones and ground through the palms. Enjoy a deep melt between your shoulder blades. You're now warmed and ready for the practice of Shakti Kriya 1. Four movements weave together on the flow of the breath. First movement is into dog tilt on the inhalation. Second movement into baby pose on the exhalation. Third movement slithers forward and up into cobra pose on the inhalation. And the fourth movement brings us back to downward dog on the exhalation. Enjoy two further rounds of the Shakti Kriya 1 to create a deeper heat inside the body. The daily practice of Shakti Kriya will bring a great tone and strength to the upper body. Tensions will be released along the entire length of the spine, bringing a spinal health and fluidity. And the coordination of breath and movement will bring a balance to the nervous system and a renewed calm to the mind. From your final downward dog, we will now move into the swan pose, bringing the right knee beside the right thumb and placing the right heel underneath the left hip bone. Take time to settle in and then use your inhalation to open your chest and the exhalation to bow your heart forward over your right thigh. Gently rock your hip to loosen the tension. As you lengthen back through your back leg to create a stretch between your back big toe and your right knee. Use the pulse of your breath to gradually deepen into the pose. can now use your inhalation to push down into your palms, lift your heart, look skyward and then with an exhalation draw back and into downward dog. We now practice the left side bringing the left knee forward to the left thumb and placing the left heel underneath the right hip. Gradually settle down Squaring your hips, lift your heart, and then use an exhalation to bow forward, 
gradually releasing your body weight down onto the leading thigh. Once again, give yourself an opportunity to settle your hips into the pose before progressively using the pulse of your breath to run a stretch between your back big toe and your left knee. There'll be an inhalation that once again lifts the heart up and the exhalation that draws us back and into downward dog. We will now use the practice of Shakti Kriya 1 to link into our next posture, the shoulder roll. From Cobra Pose, slowly lower your chest down to the floor, simultaneously bending your knees to bring your heels towards your buttocks. The left arm then stretches out to the left, palm upturned, and we take a slow roll over to the left, scooping our feet underneath us and placing the soles of the feet on the ground. The right arm then reaches over to interlace with the left fingers. We then use the exhalation to wring out the tension from between the shoulder blades and around the heart, keeping our neck free so that it doesn't take any tension from the shoulders. Having completed on the left side, roll over, shooting the right arm out to the right, and then taking the roll, interlacing the fingers if you can, alternatively, reach in that direction. The main thing is to use your exhalation to skillfully loosen the tension of the upper back, shoulders and neck. Having completed the right side, roll back to center and use the inhalation to climb back up into Cobra Pose before exhaling back into Downward Dog to melt between the shoulders and release the neck of any tension. From Downward Dog, take a walk forward into a standing forward bend. Position your feet so they hip width apart and parallel to one another. Now use your inhalations to create the dog tilt in the hips to lengthen the spine, lift the chest, and use the exhalations to ease into the bow. Work with great patience, work with respect, but also trust in the power of your exhalation to penetrate in and through any resistance. Now from the forward bend, we'll use an inhalation to raise up into a standing position, bringing the arms above the head. Then using the exhalation, we come into a prayer position at the heart. We are now ready for the warrior flow. Turn sideways on your mat and with an inhalation, step the feet, lunge distance apart. Our first posture is triangle. With an exhale, turn your feet to the right. Take an inhalation to fill up the whole form of the body before exhaling to bring the right hand into a comfortable position on the right leg. Find your roots by grounding down through the four corners of the feet, sucking the leg straight, lifting and turning the left hip bone to open the belly and the chest. Widen the wingspan of your arms and gaze up to the left hand thumb. To come out of triangle, Use an inhalation to rotate the left arm in a full circle over the head to stand up 
and then an exhale to turn the feet to the left. Back foot turned in 45 degrees, front foot 90. Again with an exhalation, bring the left hand down onto the left leg as a support. Again drawing energy into the legs to fully open and turn the upper body as if you're drawing your right shoulder blade into an imaginary wall behind you. You can progressively deepen into the posture with your exhalation. Again, to come out of triangle, rotate the right arm in a full circle over the head as you inhale. And we can now turn to the right side, ready for side angle pose. Again, filling the body on the inhale, to then lower down into side angle on the exhale, bringing the right fingertips to the floor in alignment with your inner right heel. Using your right arm as a leverage against your right knee, scoop your tailbone under to again lever your upper body open. The right leg is in a lunge and the back leg is strong and straight. To come out of side angle, again rotate the left arm over the head to stand up and make a turn on the feet to the left side. Inhale to fill up the whole body and then an exhale to bring the left fingertips to the floor in line with your front heel. Again lunging into the front leg but sending a strong line of energy into your back heel. Scoop your tailbone as you breathe in to open out the heart and gaze up to the right hand thumb. Coming out of side angle on the inhalation, we then turn the feet square with one another, ready for the bowing triangle. Inhalation opens the chest, lifts the chin, and the exhale bows forward to touch the hands to the floor. Now with each inhalation finding the dog tilt in the hips to lengthen the belly and the spine, opening the chest and then using the exhalation to bring the crown of the head towards the floor as the hips rise towards the sky. Use the pulse of your breath to gradually deepen into the pose. To come out of the bowing triangle, raise up through dog tilt with a straight back, crossing the arms above the head, and then with an exhale, drop into the right side of warrior two. Warrior two is a lunge position, but with your spine upright, sending powerful lines of energy out through your two arms. Your gaze is on your right middle finger. To switch the sides of your warrior two, bring the arms down, cross them beside the pelvis, raise them above the head, and then with an exhalation, turn the feet to the left to bring yourself into warrior two on the other side. The left leg is lunging, bringing the left knee into alignment with your front big toe, rotating your right hip back to create an opening in the pelvis so that the energy can really lift into your heart. To complete the sequence of warrior two, step your feet back to the start position and bring your hands into your heart to honor your inner warrior. We will now use Suya Namaskar to connect to our next posture of the reclining hero. Use an inhale to raise the arms above the head and an exhale to bow into the forward bend. The inhalation then steps the right leg back into lunge and an exhalation carries us back into downward dog. From here, come into a kneeling position at the front of your mat, either sitting down upon your heels or between your heels if it's possible. You can utilize a cushion underneath your buttocks 
to serve this purpose. Reclining Hero has three stages to it. One is to rest back onto the hands, lifting the heart and releasing the neck. The second stage is to release onto the elbows and the third stage down onto the shoulders. Work with great patience and respect. Listen inwardly to your body and to your breath. This posture is earned over time as the ankles, the tops of the feet and the knees gradually open. Whichever stage of the posture you are in, enjoy depth of breath as your abdomen stretches and lengthens and your chest fills. This will open up the lungs as well as toning the functioning of the reproductive and digestive system. To come up, use your inhalation. Come onto your hands and your knees, cross your ankles, and then roll over onto your back and into simple shoulder stand. Bend your knees towards your forehead initially. Shuffle your shoulder blades in towards one another. Place the hands onto the lower back for support and then extend the legs out and into the air. Keep your legs together. Invite your toes to spread and the soles of your feet to smile. See what you can do inwardly to find the rhythm of your breath. As energy now naturally cascades down from your legs into your spine to rejuvenate and restore the whole system. Come out of shoulder stand, bend your knees towards your forehead once again, cross the legs and then roll yourself up and into a cross-legged seated pose for fish pose. Come into fish by resting back onto your elbows, placing your thumbs either side of the lower spine. Use an inhale to lift and open the heart and an exhale to tenderly release the neck back. Enjoy the fullness of the breath as it comes into the front of your body. Lengthening your abdomen and opening your chest. Use an inhalation to lift out of the fish pose, extending the legs into staff and then coming into our final posture of a spinal twist, bringing the right foot over the left knee and collapsing the spine. Inhale, then lengthens the back to come into the twist on the exhalation, turning to the right. Use your left arm as a leverage around your right thigh and use your right fingertips as a support to keep the spine lengthening into the inhalations and then twisting and wringing out into the exhalations. Maintaining a charge in the left leg. To switch sides, again extend the legs into staff pose and this time bring the left foot over the right knee for the spinal twist. Inhalation extends the spine and exhalation twist to the left. Now the right arm is acting as a leverage around the left thigh and the left fingertips are acting as a support behind the body. Each inhalation creates the lift and each exhalation creates the twist. To 
come out of the spinal twist. Use an inhalation to extend the legs into staff pose. And then come into a cross-legged seated posture for the practice of double breathing. Short, powerful, abdominal breaths. Inhaling through the nostrils. Exhaling out of the mouth. Relax into energized stillness. (laughs) 